Okay, here we go again, Russ here. Now we're going to be looking at the the auto blogger um, tab. Okay, how we're going to how we use this. Now I know we can um, if you decide to subscribe to buy the software, you can go and have a look at this. Okay, but um, I'm going to show you how it works or how to make it work. Just tried the uh, the syndrome set setup here, and it wasn't very successful. So I'm hoping that the auto blogger is going to be a little bit more successful. Okay, first of all here, top left we have blog URL. We, you have, it's important that you put, you, you know, obviously the correct URL for your blog in here. And as it says in the brackets, no trailing forward slash. Okay, so make sure you remove that. Then you put your username. I've created this um, dummy user just for the purpose of these videos. And then I enter the password in here. Okay, um, if you're going to use this kind of software, then I do recommend that you create an additional administrator on your blog site. And then let this access your blog site through that other administrator, not your main administrator. Okay, that's, that's your choice, of course, but that's, this is my personal preference. Niche keyword the recommendation here from Cash Renegade is that we put in one or we put in two, a maximum of two keywords. Okay, this is what your these, these are your niche keywords. This is what you're building your website on, or um, what you want your your auto blogs to be about. Okay, this is what it's going to be looking for, and the maximum posts to create on a whatever frequency you want. Okay, so let's say we want a maximum post to create. I'm just going to put two make it, to make it quick. This tick box here includes the resource box. Okay, when you have to when you submit articles, things like that to uh, the various websites. Um, it's generally a requirement that you submit information into this resource box. Okay, so if you tick this box here, what it does, it tells Cash Renegade Auto Blogger to include the resource box when it's looking for the niche keyword. This is what it's looking for. This is the term. Okay. All right, the source we can choose from these four different choices here. Okay, I'm going to choose Artist Basket. No, I'm not going to choose these new articles. Start date, end of month, month, day, day, year, year. You leave it blank if it starts today. Post frequency, I want to post on a daily basis. That's what I want, not weekly or random. Okay. This one here, check blog settings. If this is the first time you've used this, this is very important. Okay. Um, what it's what it's doing, it's telling Cash Renegade to when it logs onto your blog via this URL, this username, and this password. To go in and check the blog setting, make sure all those little boxes in your blog settings setup are checked to enable it to write to your blog. Okay, that's what it needs to do. That's the purpose of this box. So, for the first time, you need to have this tip just to make sure it's okay. Next one, proxies, use proxies, no proxies. Okay, proxy servers, etc. Some people say good things about them, some people um, say bad things about them. Um, I don't actually have a proxy file set up, so I'm going to have to select no proxy. If you do use a proxy server, proxy server is like an intermediary between your um, your web server from your ISP and and the internet. Okay. Um, if you use one and you have your proxy file, then okay. I don't, so I'm not going to use it. Next, the last um, box here, very important. When Cash Renegade goes and searches for this this keyword. Okay, it'll find this keyword in the resource box, in the title, in the body of, of the document also. And then if it decides to use that particular article, what you're doing here is you're saying, well, to just spin the title, keep the body the same, or just spin the body, keep the title the same, or spin the title and the body. And when we say spin, what what we what we're saying here is change the article okay google and the various other search engines want um, the content to be unique so if you can take an article it could be um uh, free articles as such you know there's no, there is um there's nothing wrong with you using things for plr private uh, label rights and take these articles and change them okay just alter the words you know, remember i mentioned earlier about the synonym setup okay just using synonyms for the various words and just rearranging the sentences. So it basically reads the same but in a different way. Okay, so it's important that you really select spin titles and the body. Just you don't want to infringe copyright, okay, you don't want to wind anyone up, you don't want to get a lawsuit. So 
I suggest you, you do this. Okay. And then the next thing you do is you hit once you once just go over to quickly click over, check your settings, and then you hit the play button. And then we let Cash Renegade. It starts. Okay, this has gone to the as you can see to the first website. And now it's looking for those niche keywords that we entered. Okay, I've only selected two posts to to create, okay? So it shouldn't take too long, excuse me. Okay, it's now easy in articles as you can see. Something's happening here. So, okay, now it's going to my website, my dashboard. I'm going to have to edit that last page, okay? If you didn't see that last page in the jump, okay, add some personal details on there. I hope you understand. Okay, it's now adding a new post. Affiliate marketing, how important are keywords? Post schedule for June the 10th at 10:11, which is in about uh, like almost 30 minutes time, 28 minutes time. And add a new post. Coming on online marketing so success, working from home. Remember the straight away. Okay, that's scheduled for tomorrow. The affiliate marketing here is our niche keyword. Okay, that one's scheduled for tomorrow because I selected post frequency. Okay, this looks quite good. I do like this. I mean, it's taking, it's doing the searching for me basically. If I don't have anything original that I want to write, here's another one scheduled for June the 12th. Okay, at 3.46. I don't want to be posting at 3.46 in the morning, so this will do it for me. As I said, um, I don't want to be searching constantly for, for articles. Um, if I don't have any new content that I want to write myself, and this is going to be very, very good. If you don't have the time, you don't have the energy, you don't have the capability or the ability, then this looks like it could be of use. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that you have to check what this is creating for you. Okay, that's very, very important. Right, it looks like it runs quite nicely. I'm going to sign off here. I'm not sure how long this video is, but I think it's quite a long one. Um, and the next one I'll be looking at is PLR Autoblogger. See you soon.